right now we have someone in the White House who can barely talk, barely put together two coherent sentences, who seem we to have, have no history with it in our faculties of childhood. Is a person that has nothing going, no intelligence whatsoever, yeah. but I know Kamala's word because she spends a lot of time complaining. I won't agree to another debate. Okay, the truth is I debated twice this year once against Joe Biden and once against David Muir of ABC. That was amazing, 11 times. None for the other side. Do you think that's fair news? I don't think so. That's fake news. Sorry. I don't know Go what's on, going on. to happen three weeks from now. It's going to be uh, very interesting. It just started. It's actually, uh, it's actually, isn't it sort of exciting? Yeah. Right? It really, isn't it just exciting what's going on? It's a process. It's a rough process, too. Not so pretty. That's the answer. But the press is reporting that Democrats are starting to panic. They're panicking. They are panicking because, you know, the votes that are coming in are coming in very, very strong in a certain way. I won't tell you what way that is, but Chuck Schumer is here looking very glum. Does he look glum? He look glum. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. John Henry Henry, 4096. John Henry Henry, 4096. Now, actually, you mind if I do that? He said, no, you got to do what you got to do. He's a pro. He's a pro. Nah, he's a good man, actually. I hate to say it. Don't ever use it against me, please. Don't say this dinner was really setting me back when I said it. I've known him a long time. There's a group called White Dudes for Harris. Have you seen this? White Dudes for Harris. Anybody know? Are, are some of you here? White Dudes for Harris? Doesn't sound like it. But I'm not worried about them at all because their wives and their wives' lovers are all voting for me. Every one of those people is voting. And as you may have seen, Kamala did an interview on Fox News yesterday. It went so poorly. I heard that the Democrats have been forced to install another 100 drop boxes throughout the city. And the upside really is Kamala now sees the benefit of deportation. She wants to deport people. She's vicious. She wants to deport people. She wants to start by deporting Brett Baer of Fox. An interesting interview last night. A major issue of this race is child care, and Kamala has put forward a concept of a plan. A lot of people don't like it. The only piece of advice I would have for her in the event that she wins would be not to let her husband Doug anywhere near the nannies. Just keep him away. That's a nasty one. That's nasty. I told these idiots that gave me this stuff that's yeah. true. Oh, I did. I did. You know, they told me the last time I did this. Zero, zero. Seven, four, I was running against two, nine, Hillary. Zero, zero. And I mean Hillary. No, I was running against Cook and Hillary, and I did it. And I thought it was a roast. So I was told it's a roast. And I had the meanest guy you've ever seen write stuff up. And <laughs> man, was the room angry. It's not a hard it looks like it's been warm enough to fall in your I went overboard, don't you think? It was like terrible. I have a caution. I knew I was in trouble around midway through because, you know, people on my church. own side was angry at me. They were saying, it's too much. But uh, there was a caution for 42. You know. The actual warrant is for... Campaigning can take a toll on a family and family life, although I hear that Kamala and her husband carve out some really beautiful alone time at the end of the day for an intimate dinner, just Doug, her, and the teleprompter that she uses quite well. Three no more. And by the way, Three she wouldn't have liked this tonight if she was told about no teleprompter. I can't believe I saw a teleprompter. They said they've never had a teleprompter in the history of this dinner. I told that to the condor, right? And then a teleprompter pops up. For the he must be a very important comedian to get that. They give you one, but not me. How about that one? Right, come here. Yeah, you did a good job. Tradition holds that I'm supposed to tell a few self-deprecating.
Katie jokes this evening. So here it goes. Nope. I've got nothing.